To hunt the roost or not hunt the roost? That is the question. Oh, I know it's so very enticing to see mondo wads of ducks dumping into a spot at dark and then wanting to make that your next hunting location. But should you do it? Today, I'll help you to decide for yourself. I'm Joel Strickland, and this is Surviving Duck Season. Thanks for watching Surviving Duck Season, where we feed your waterfowl obsession and help you to maximize your hunting experience. So, should you hunt the roost? Well, it depends on several things. First of all, are we talking about ducks or geese? Well, if it's geese, for the most part, no. You're just going to blow them out of the area. But for ducks, the answer is not so simple. So on today's video, I'm focusing on ducks. I'll be sharing with you things that I've learned about roosting ducks from 35 years of duck hunting all over the continent. Over the past year or so, I've had a lot of guys asking about shooting the roost. And I also see many people talking on social media about it, and even some talking about how it's taboo and you should never, ever do it. So let's talk about that. Well, first of all, a lot of people's perspective on hunting is based on two things. Uh, how can you kill your limit tomorrow? And what are you seeing ducks doing in the general area in which you hunt? How can I kill my limit tomorrow is very short-sighted and selfish too. Uh, have a big picture mentality. How can you preserve good hunting in your area and have more than just one good hunt? How can you you know, have a good hunt in three days or next week or even longer. Most people, I realize, don't have the ability to manage vast tracts of land for waterfowl, but we all should do our part in helping to manage the smaller areas that we do have. Now, the other thing is thinking of duck ecology and hunting from a perspective that is just in the area in which you hunt rather than the big picture of maybe your entire region or maybe the entire flyway. My life of traveling to hunt all over has taught me that ducks are very different everywhere. Hunting techniques are also different, and there are very few universal rules as it pertains to being successful in harvesting ducks. Now, understanding the differences in the flyway from north to south, uh, but also from the time of year that it is, you know, September, October versus January, completely different the way that the, the duck's behavior is, the way that they react to certain types of, you know, hunting techniques, as well as pressure throughout the entire season. So understanding that, and then as you look to get answers for your questions about hunting, you know, reading an article, watching a video, or taking advice from somebody on social media, it's very important to understand the perspective in which they come from. Like I said, duck hunting is different everywhere, and a guy that hunts in Canada or the Dakotas will probably tell you that you should never ever hunt the roost, and they wouldn't be wrong. But a guy like me who hunts 60 days a season in Arkansas is not going to necessarily see it the same way. So, why would you not want to hunt the roost? Well, like I said before, the potential of pushing your birds away from the area, that's number one. Uh, you might get one good hunt, but then, adios. Uh, it also disrupts the birds' patterns, and it educates a large amount of birds. Another problem is that it could be a complete waste of time, because birds often show up to a roost after legal shooting time, and then leave before it's time to start hunting. But are there times when you could do well hunting a roost, and not running all the birds off and messing stuff up? That is the real question. Well, first of all, let's talk about what a roost is. A roost is a location that ducks spend the night, or part of a night, and it's almost always going to be on the water. Now, a lot of guys have misconceptions about what a roost is and why birds use it. Ducks may be resting at a roosting area, but they're often there feeding as well. It's important to understand that waterfowl can fly at night and they do change locations in the middle of the night depending upon where they are in the flyway at the time of the year. 
Uh, just because you see ducks going into a spot at dark doesn't mean they're going to be there the next morning. It happens to us all the time. What's a roost look like? What kind of spot is it? Well, again, it's different in different parts of the continent. If you hunt in an area that has very little flooded food sources and you see ducks feeding in dry fields a lot, this is the region where you're going to find ducks uh, roosting in ponds, lakes, marshes, and then they'll also be using these places as midday loafing spots. This is Prairie Canada, the Dakotas, um, parts of Texas, Oklahoma. A lot of the central flyway kind of fits into this you know, type of area. Now, the lower portion of the Mississippi flyway is completely different. We're talking uh, Missouri, Arkansas, West Tennessee, West Mississippi, uh, Louisiana. It's very, very different. Uh, vast amounts of water, lots of flood water from many of the large rivers, man-made impoundments for waterfowl, uh, and a lot of naturally occurring wetlands. Uh, in this region, you're rarely going to see ducks dry feeding. And most of the water that you see can be a feeding spot or a roosting spot or a loafing spot. And so the only way you're going to know why the birds are using it and when they're using it is by scouting. Now, pretty much the rest of the continent is going to fall somewhere in the middle between the very specific roosts and dry feeding compared to the, you know, the southern part of the Mississippi Flyway where there's lots of water. And knowing what the ducks do in your region is going to be the first part of the process in knowing if you should hunt the roost or not. Ah, that was a lot. Now that we've got uh, the ecology lesson out of the way, let's talk about some practical scenarios. Okay, if you go into a spot in the morning before daylight and you run off a whole bunch of ducks and they don't come back, then you may be hunting a roost. It's potentially a waste of time because if they don't come back, you know, you're not going to get to shoot them in the morning. But what you may do is scout and see if they come back to that spot in midday. Uh, sometimes it might be 11, 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So that's a very good possibility that you could use that as a midday hunt. Sometimes you don't always know if the spot you're going to in the morning is a roost or not until you get there. Now where I hunt in Arkansas, there may be no rhyme or reason why ducks decide to use a place as a roost. Uh, we have some places that are great for hunting spots. But then all of a sudden, ducks just start using it as a roost. Uh, it may last just one or two nights, but it might also last for weeks. As a general rule, I get a sick feeling if I'm going out to my hunting location before daylight and I start jumping up ducks by the thousands in my light in front of me. Now the guys with me will all be giddy and like, oh yeah, man, look at all them ducks. I'm like, oh no because I know that they may not be coming back. So, what about hunting a roost spot in the afternoon? Well, personally, in the area that I hunt in Arkansas, we don't have a whole lot of success with the strategy. Uh, most of the times, the roosting areas that we know are roosts, uh, the ducks are coming in right at shooting time or even later. Uh, it's very, very common for ducks to even just start coming in just, you know, 20, 30 minutes after shooting time. And they'll fill it up by the thousands, but it doesn't do you any good to try to hunt them in the afternoon. Now, one strategy you can try, especially on cloudy, rainy days, that sort of thing, is a lot of times it'll push the birds, you know, earlier to coming in there. And you might be able to, to uh, have a good hunt on those kinds of days. You just want to make sure that you get out of there you know, pretty quickly after shooting time. I don't see it being a problem most of the time uh, to hunt those kind of places as long as you can get out of there because the bulk of the birds are really just not going to come in there until dark and you've not really disturbed a whole lot. If you can't get out of there, if you're going to, if it takes you a long time to get out of the location, you might potentially blow them out and it's going to be pitch black dark when you're getting out of there. You might rethink that, but m at least most of the places that we, you know, hunt, we don't have that problem. Now, I've seen a lot of changes in the landscape over the years. Ducks act different than they used to. And one thing that I've noticed here in Arkansas in December, especially when it's still kind of warm, is that we'll go out scouting 
and sometimes not even find any ducks. And you're like, where are the ducks at? We had some in here a couple of days ago. What happened to them? But if you go to that spot and sit there till absolutely flat dark, they will fill it up by the thousands. And you're like, where were they? Go there in the morning, they're gone. They left who knows when before you got there. They're using flooded agricultural fields, moist soil habitat by the tens of thousands as a night feed. Then they leave the next morning and go sit on a reservoir or rest area somewhere where they're not getting shot at. Now, cold days make them feed throughout the day, which helps break the pattern. What kinds of duck behavior are y'all seeing where you hunt? Let me know in the comments. So, should you hunt the roost? Well, the more water that you have in your region and the more places that birds go to roost, the better chances you have for not running your birds off. And know when they arrive and leave the roost is also very important. That comes from proper scouting. If you want to see a great video on scouting, click this video right here. God bless you. I'm Joel Strickland, and I'll see you on the next video.